Hello and welcome to In the Studio with Davis Media Access. Today I'll be your host. My name is Wendy Wilcox. I'll be joined by Kevin Clark from the Yolo County District Attorney's Office and Elaine Roberts Messer, an attorney from Davis, California. Today we'll be talking about the Senior Resource Fair and Crime Prevention Fair that will be uh, held on October 26th in Woodland, California. And we'll get started with you, Kevin. Go ahead and tell us about uh, what we can expect at the Senior Resource Fair. Well, the Senior Resource Fair, I think, is just a really great thing for the community. Uh, the, the reason we have Elaine here as well is she's participated and helped promote the Senior Fair in the past. And it's just a great event because seniors in our community are a vulnerable population. Uh, they're people we need to look out for, we need to protect. And just the fact that there's so many people that are trying to scam them, victimize them, mm -hmm. commit fraud against them, those are some of the things we'll talk about you know, today on, on, in the studio. And I think what's important is that we just uh, uh, realize how important the event is. It's a Yolo County event, so it's hosted in Woodland, but it's not just for Woodland. It, it's for right, everybody. Right. It's for Davis. It's for West Sacramento, Winters, Esparto, the rural parts, and, and Woodland as well. So it's a great event, and uh, some of the resources, I'll just list off a few of them. Since it is a resource fair, we have caregiving resources, consumer help resources, crisis services, education, financial assistance, health care, housing, legal assistance, support groups, transportation. And since it has that crime prevention fair title in it, mm -hmm. local, federal, state, law enforcement agencies are there. Good. It's a great right. opportunity for seniors to come and voice their opinion, right. ask for change, uh, report a crime. Mm -hmm. It's been a great right. opportunity for crimes to be reported and be investigated. Mm -hmm. And um, so that event's actually going to be um, this Friday coming up. It's in a couple days. Uh, Friday the 26th at the Woodland Senior Center. And that's at 2001 East Street in Woodland. Um, and so just uh, just down uh, uh, up Highway 113 from Davis. And coming it starts up. at 9 a.m., right? 9 yeah. to noon. Okay. 9 a.m. to noon. There's just a lot of great things, free on-site shredding, document mm -hmm. shredding, no limit. So bring that document shredding. We can't stress enough how important it is to take care of those documents. I mean, just get shred those documents, right. get rid of them. That's where people are going to scam and try to get information right. to commit fraud and identity theft. We've got free continental breakfast that's being catered by the Californian in Woodland. Okay. Excellent. And we have free raffle prizes. So. Excellent. Um, okay, uh, Elaine, let's start with you, and I want to hear from you about uh, why this event is so important for seniors in our community. Well, you know, I have an 88-year-old mom who regularly calls me almost two and three times a week to explain how, you know, the IRS called her and said that, you know, she was in danger of being arrested, uh, right. or she gets something in the mail, or somebody answer, she answers the door and somebody's trying to scam her that way. So she's constantly calling me about this. And I, of course, I'm an attorney, I'm a consumer advocate, so I know exactly what to do. However, most seniors don't have an attorney on tap. Right. So they have to you know, find this information out somewhere. And this resource fair is an excellent place to start to find out how you can prevent these scams so that you don't get scammed. But also, if you have been scammed, tell someone so that they can you know, steer you to the right resources. Absolutely. That's so important. The fact of the matter is statistics show that in 2017, there were 4% of the calls that you get, telephone calls are fraudulent. Next year, it was up to 30%, and by next wow. year, it'll be 45%. Mm. That's yes. how bad it's gotten. Right, and, there's, and they're so relentless. They call uh, at all hours of the day. Yes. And they, they try to catch them off guard quickly so that they oh, will yeah. act, react in a way that would be beneficial yeah, to the scammer. They, right, they prey on their vulnerability, really, yes. and, they, and their emotions, particularly. Right. That's very common. Right? Yeah, and another thing to add to that is just the fact that they're uh, maybe the senior, uh, if, if, if they're lonely at all, they might want to yeah, talk right. to someone on the phone. Right. right. And if they don't know where to reach out to or how to reach out, that's why it's important to go to this fair and find out who you can reach out to for right. help. They sometimes feel suckered into it or, or pushed mm -hmm. or pressured into something where they have to give money up front 
Right. And and then they say afterwards, you know, it felt like it wasn't right, mm -hmm. but I just went ahead with it anyways. Yeah. Those are the reasons why, you know, we want to protect our seniors. So. And, and in yeah. the aftermath, they feel embarrassed. They yes. feel they're yes. ashamed of themselves for, for being exactly. convinced to do something that... It seemed too good to be true. We all know it's, if it seems too good to be true, you really need to ask yeah. and second guess it. And, and then they're afraid to report it, mm -hmm. you know, right. because they think some people look down on them or shame them more. Right, so. exactly. And since right. it's one of the most underreported crimes, senior financial elder mm -hmm. abuse, embarrassment is usually the number oh, one reason. Yeah. Absolutely. We go and we, we talk to the community, we, we educate them and, and want to empower them to come forward. But most of the time, they're like, I cannot believe I fell for that scam. Oh, they're so yeah. embarrassed, and don't, they don't need to feel embarrassed. No. You know what? You never have to feel guilty or feel embarrassed Ever. if you're a victim Ever. of a crime. Always come forward. We're here to support you. But that's what they feel sometimes, and then it goes unreported, and a lot of times, they're out of a lot of money. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And it's gone forever. Well, and the, the I think the, the scary part is a lot of the businesses, legitimate businesses, are getting into the scamming business. And that sounds terrible to say, but as an example, my dad had early onset dementia. Mm -hmm. And what ended up happening is he paid for subscriptions for like 50 years out because they kept sending him their subscriptions mm -hmm. every month. You know, knowing yeah. that he he was so going to have to attack a year, year. Yeah, to it. exactly. And so this is the kind of thing you have to really watch all the time. You have to really, really watch. Yes, for sure. Okay, um, so Kevin, can you tell us about some of the unique services that they can expect to see at this year's fair? Well, just like we've been talking about, that access to law enforcement, it's so hard to be able to go and just talk to investigators, mm -hmm. talk to local police officers from right. your jurisdiction get yeah. to know it might not even just be scams and fraud going on but it might be crime prevention in your community right. what are some of the hot topic or hot button issues or things that you might be concerned with you know the law enforcement do want to hear about that Absolutely. they want to hear what some of your concerns are in right. the community otherwise they won't be able to change those or, or seek change right. that's important um, another thing that's so important is some of the civil legal assistance Right. Uh, we have the Com YOLO Conflict Resolution, Legal Services of Northern California, right. okay. other advocates like Elaine that are going to be there to help out and discuss some yep. of these issues. You don't know if, okay, sometimes it might not be a, a crime that we can solve. It might be a civil dispute or civil matter. Right. What better way than to go and talk to, you know, the people that are there. The expert. right? Experts, right. ask them, is my case, is this issue something you can help me out with? And maybe some of that money that's been lost could be recovered in a, in a, in a civil action. Right. Um, and they might even qualify as a non, as since those are nonprofits for free or reduced cost legal assistance. Right. So those are important Which things as well. Um, the other things besides the, the services that are offered, I mean, just that the on-site shredding is amazing. Mm -hmm. That's great. Uh, that the breakfast and then um, some of the raffle prizes. Wendy, you want to talk about some of the raffle prizes? So some of the raffle prizes that we have, we have uh, opera house tickets. We have a lot of local businesses that have donated gift cards. So it can be oh, whatever wow. the recipient wants it to be. Um, Target, you know, some of the, the retail stores in the area. And then also many of our vendors have volunteered to bring something. So it might be something geared towards what service they offer, whether it's in-home care services or, or whatever it is. So there's a lot of those that we're going to be bringing. Last year we had some uh, pasta basket that was, you know, really had a lot of different, you know, food and, and cooking utensils, and it was a really beautiful oh, basket. Cute. Yes, it was very nice. So, right. um, and there's a whole bunch. So yeah. It we'll, shows great support from our community. Yeah, it does. The businesses, vendors coming in, right. and they want to give this away sure. for free and they want to give it to the seniors. They want to be able to interact with them and talk with them and have that little perk for them too. Right. A lot of them, there's a, a shredder, there's other things that can help them out too for security wise or just you know, a gift certificate to go out and enjoy themselves too, so. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so um, I know that you've attended in the past, Elaine. Can you share with us some of the interesting experiences that you have seen uh, just to give the seniors an idea of what to expect? Yeah, sure. Um, one case we had that came forward was a, a woman who had been the victim of a grandparent scam. And she uh, got a call. Someone said they were, they were uh, calling on behalf of her grandson, who they said was in jail in you know, Barbados or something like that. And uh, they needed $2,000 wired immediately to get him out of jail. 
she made the foolish mistake of naming her grandson. So, of course, she thought they knew who it was and they were legit. Mm -hmm. So she, very within a few hours, wired the money, only to find out a few hours later that her grandson was perfectly happy and at home and safe, mm -hmm. not in Barbados or wherever it was that the scam was going on. She tried to go back to Western Union and get the money back. Of course, it's already been wired. It's gone. gone. It's gone. Mm -hmm. And, of course, as we've talked, both of us have said this, that she felt very ashamed, right. stupid, foolish. Uh, so when she came to us, she was kind of reluctant to say anything at first, but we kind of pulled the story out of her. And we, we said, don't be ashamed. You're not the right. first one. You right. won't be the last mm -hmm. one. Right. Um, but you need to tell someone and let us tell you how you can prevent this from happening again. And that's when we told her, you don't give out the name of your grandson. And then you ask him, what's the name of my grandson? That's right. a simple way to avoid Equip the, them with those. Yeah, exactly. Reasons. We had another case in which a woman was, um, she was very, very low income, just barely making ends meet. And somehow she'd been talked into this life insurance policy that she could not afford. It was ridiculous. So we sat down with her and talked about her finances and got her to see that she really needs to cancel this policy because it's just way beyond what she can afford. So it's help like that. Um, it seems to maybe a, you know, someone who's middle aged, oh, this is ridiculous. But, you know, seniors oftentimes they don't see the forest for the trees sometimes. Right. It's very hard. They get isolated. They get lonely. Um, they're not quite sure. They come from a background where, you know, you do a deal on a handshake. Right. That exactly. sort of thing. That's and so huge. they're very vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Very, very vulnerable. Very, very trusting. trusting. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And sometimes confused. Yes. You know, they, what yes. They, what they used to remember very easily is now not right. as easy to come up with, even the spelling of a word, perhaps. And so oh, yeah. those, those types of things that are coming at them so quick, as these scammers do. Exactly. They, they I mean, I had, I had a case where some, some woman, her husband was, had dementia, and, she, and, he, and the call was at midnight, and he was sold a timeshare, and he has dementia. Oh. I mean, really? Yeah. <laughs> So that okay, and some of the other things. I mean, this is great community support and some uh, support where s the attorneys will take on cases yes. like yourself and yes, and absolutely. other ones in the community for the from the DA's office. One of the things that uh, DA Jeff Rice really feels strongly about is being proactive. We Very just talked so. about this Western Union case. This isn't a case that we're going to be able to solve and resolve. Right. right? There's this international element to it. Yep. It's hard to trace. Right. It, it, exactly. It's, it's going to be difficult to find a suspect to charge. Right. So what we've been doing is getting out, being proactive, giving talks at senior centers. Right. Educating and empowering the seniors so they know how to get to the fraud hotline, get to our website, report, talk. If we can't resolve or initiate an investigation, either get it to the local police department. What we want to do is refer them out to community resources as well. Right. which is so important. And so that's why it's important to call the fraud hotline and just be there so that we can kind of support and help them through it. Even if it's calling Elaine or calling someone else and saying, hey, there's this kind of weird case we got going on. What do you think about this? And seeing sometimes if someone would take on a cause. Absolutely. And along that line, um, I know that you have a lot of different resources and mm -hmm. advocacy groups that you work with. Is there any that you'd like to mention here today uh, just to give, them an, give our viewers an idea of what is available to them at their fingertips? Yeah, there's, there's a lot of resources out there. The first place I'd start is your senior center. Um, the major cities in Davis have senior centers. Davis has one, West Sac, Woodland, and Winters. I know all four of those have them. Okay. Um, there's a plethora of information at your senior center, and that's where you probably ought to start. There's also 211. That's a good yes, way of getting good. information. If you're 65 or older, they will automatically hook you up with Senior Link, which is all the services for seniors. So those are two really good places to start, but you can also find information out or even re register complaints about what's going on in community with your local senior commissions um, and also the Yolo County Commission on Aging, and we also have the Yolo, Yolo Healthy Aging Alliance. So all of those are good resources. As Kevin mentioned, there's legal services in Northern California, which also might be able to help. So, And even businesses sometimes can help like Comcast has a way that you can stop robocalls. 
So, and your banks have different things that you can do. So, and, and all fraud of these, prevention, almost all of these services will have a representative at our senior fair. So, oh, excellent. On that, I'd like to say thank you for watching today uh, in the studio with Davis Media Access. We hope that you'll join us at the 2018 Senior Resource and Fraud Prevention Fair.